Relax. All right, gang. Welcome to Captain Dave's Wheelhouse. Today we're going to talk about how to dock your boat. The simple, easy way. We're going to do it on a very small boat. We're going to do it on a 65-foot Hatteras today. Now, the same thing as far as your boat goes, if you have a 20-foot twin screw or a 90-foot or a 120-foot, the same principle is going to apply. Exactly what I show you to do is going to work on whatever size boat you have. We're working strictly with twin screws today. Twin screws meaning you have two motors side by side. Whether they're outboard motors or large inboard, it doesn't matter. The same concept applies. The key to docking your boat is to go as slow as you can and still make way. That means the boat's still moving forward or backwards, but you're never ever going to want to use your throttle because what you're going to learn the hard way is if you decide to use your throttle is that's when things break. That's when you hit things super hard and break things. So we're going to try to show you exactly how to do it as smooth and as calmly as you possibly can. As we go through Dana Point Harbor here, you can notice that we're just barely moving. We're in and out of gear all the time. That way we can get around the paddle boards and the kayaks and the sailboats. Just remember, there's never a time where anybody's ever in your way. Because of the fact that you know how to drive your boat, you should never ever experience a time where a paddle board's in your way or a sailboat's in your way, or a kayak's in your way. Like on this boat, this is a 65 foot Hatteras. My motors are as big as the guy on the paddle board right now, so how can he possibly be in my way? My motor is bigger than he is. And I also have a steering wheel, so I can drive around the paddle boards. Just because you think you need to go there where the paddle board is, stop and wait for a second for him to proceed by you. There's never a time where they're in your way and there's never a time where you need to honk at them. Just remember, 90% of the people on the paddle boards of the kayaks aren't even from the United States of America. They're probably from some other country and they're here on vacation. And we, the last thing we want them to think is that we're the ugly Americans, okay? So always proceed with caution and always just take your time. And nobody can ever be in our way. They can't. It's impossible. We can stop for a minute and wait for them to paddle by. And now as we approach our dock, we're going to talk about this boat that we're on today has no thrusters and has no pods. We're simply going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to use the motors to park the boat. When you're coming into your dock, it's impossible to steer your boat. I'm not talking about a single screw outboard motor. I'm simply talking about a vessel with two engines. You do not, like if Mike was to pan down here right now and look at this boat, these two outboards, probably one of the easiest boats to drive. It's gonna be the same exact concept as you're gonna have on the big boat. Left one goes in reverse, right one goes in forward, therefore the bow will go to the right. The opposite applies, the bow will go to your left. Now, as we come in here, I want Mike to show you, he's gonna film my hand movement here on the, on the shifters. As we come into the dock, never ever do we throttle up. Never do we give it any fuel. It's simply in gear and out of gear. In gear, move, minute the boat moves, back out of gear. Once you feel the boat starting to slide forward, you simply take them out of gear. There are no brakes on a boat. Now, as I'm starting to approach the dock, if you look at the dock now, I want to put my bow dead center in the middle of the dock. I'm going to put my starboard side on the dock. So I'm putting my left engine in reverse, my right engine in forward. The bow will start to swing to the left. Now I'm back in neutral. The bow is still moving. The boat is still moving, but we have no, we're not in gear. Now we're going to simply dump the left one in reverse. That'll straighten the bow out a little bit more. Tap the right one in forward as the bow moves to your left. Now we're going to drive in on the dock. Now remember, on a boat, 
it's pretty far back. It's probably 10 feet back to the water so I can actually drive the boat up over the dock without hitting the dock. I'm just tapping it in gear. Now the bow of the boat looks like it's up on top of the dock, but it's not. We still got 10 feet of the boat before we hit the dock. Now we're just slowly tapping it into reverse. The left engine, that's bringing the bow still around to the left. I'm tapping the right one in forward, bringing the bow around as the bow slides around. Get by the bait receiver there. The boat's just slow. No, we're not in gear. We're not out of gear. We're just simply drifting right now. Now we're going to place both engines in forward for a split second. As we feel the boat move, we're back out of gear. Boat's just drifting, drifting. No throttle necessary. We're just drifting into the dock. Drifting, drifting, drifting. I'm going to simply tap the left one into reverse to bring my stern into the dock. Now I'm back out of gear. Boat's just barely moving. I tap both engines in forward just for a second. Now I'm going to tap the left one in reverse because if you look back here, the stern's just a little bit off the dock. So now we're going to place both engines in reverse. See how we're over the top of the dinghy? But I'm going to slip both in reverse and now we're simply going to slide into our dock. As we slowly back up, you see how simple that was? Simple and easy. The key to the whole thing is to go as slow as you possibly can. Speed when docking kills. Remember, speed kills.